Hello there, beautiful internet and fantastic creatures of the beyond. Last episode was a fiasco. <laughs> the game kept freezing and doing weird things. Maybe it was my mistake, who knows. <sighs> but hopefully, hopefully everything will work alright now. I'll try to be more careful. I had to record the previous episode three times. <laughs> And I still had to cut a part of it because it froze ugh, middle way. Anyway, not complaining. Just saying that I'll try to keep more consistency in my work and try to improve my skills. Aiden! Torch is evolution. Welcome to my office. What do you see, Keros? I was sent here by Media Samuel to talk to you about the becoming an official member of the Preservation Forces. Yes, Eros, I was informed of your achievements already by Mediant Samuel. He claimed that you possessed all the traits of a true... <sighs> Argai. Rasofor. One who will uh, use all means available to preserve this institution, as well as Torch. If uh, this is what you wish, then no that uh, your place among the Rasophores will be as certain as Torch Magnificence. However, we will have to honor the tradition and wait for Harmost of, uh, to return from the Deep Caverns, for he must attend the ceremony during which you are, uh, you and other uh, novitiates will receive the, your new titles and new duties. It is... Uh, the it, if that is uh, what you see, Keros, are you sure this is the path you're willing to take? Or perhaps your heart guides you elsewhere? It is not too late to reconsider. There are other ways to reach the one, one's destination. Basically becoming a free drone or... Uh, well, we could technically go and do some of the quests from the other two factions before we join them, I think. But... Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> I mean, it's too much work and we already are level 30. Uh, it, it's irrelevant. Whatever levels we level up now from, from here on on, maybe it's gonna be one or two level. I, I'm not trying to mean max it or anything, you know. This is what I want. To become a part of preservation forces and serve and preserve Torch. You and this whole institution. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. Most excellent, Eros. I have no doubt that you will perform your duties with outstanding zeal, for your actions had already spoken of your exceptional dedication. However, I must ask you to be patient just a bit more. Harmost's return is not too far off. Then you will uh, be a novitiate no more, but a Rasofor. I would like to go into the deep caves personally uh, and guard Torch if you allow it. Torch is guarded only by the most elite members of Preservation Forces. Even though you possess the will, which I admire and recognize, you do not yet possess certain skills and knowledge. Deep Cavern is a manaish, man, man, manaceous, manaceous, yeah, place with a voracious uh, wildlife unlike anything You've seen so far, infested with the corrupted faceless who are equally adept at bringing doom to others as they are to themselves. In time, however, if you prove fit for the uh, sort of duty, I would be glad to dispatch you to deep caverns and rest easy knowing that Torch has the best protection I can possibly provide him. Thank you very much, Aiden. I can't wait for the ceremony. I'm sure of it. Um, in the meantime, see Eferion, Eferion Hana. There's uh, no reason not to get your ceremonial uniform ahead of schedule. Uh, to get accustomed to it, of course. I believe there is nothing more to be said regarding this matter. You will be notified when Aiden abruptly stops talking. You are unsure why at first, but then you uh, start getting this feeling that your guts are vibrating. It is so subtle that you are unsure whether you are imagining it or not. Aidan reaction suggests the latter to be true. Though, 
he tilts his head up, uh, keeping perfectly still and calm otherwise, while maintaining silence. Soon, vibrations grow in intensity. Vroom. Do you feel that? I do, I do. Once the tremors die down, Aiden drops his gaze back to you. That was surprising. I received no warning from investigation regarding potential seismic activity. <sighs> back on the subject, you will be notified when uh, the time comes. As for any further uh, questions you had for me, mm, no. Adios. Torch guide you. Torch guide us all. Okay, let's go to Anna. Hanna Barbera or Barbara. And we are going to this. Uh, we're, we're gonna receive some gifts now. And I think we received two of them. One is. Um, I think, I'm not 100% sure. Aiden. Hey Eros, uh, if you had uh, if you had any loud banging on your way here, those were the weights falling off the weight rack in the gym. The armor is perfectly safe. Still, don't stand near the cabinets, of course. Aiden told me to see you about my uniform. She sighs. Uh, she signals the other Rasophore and he leaves the room. We keep the new vet vetosphere downstairs. While the Rasophore is away, she grabs the Rasophore armor from one of the lockers. This is your standard issue armor robe. You will be wearing this um, on duty as a Rasophore. So this is the first armor we're gonna get, and then we're gonna get the second one, which is the ceremonial one. Some ten minutes later, the Rasophore returns with a bulky looking green robe and an unusual backpack live device. Now this, this is the new Vatosphere Atmosphere robe. Lucky you. Um, take good care of it. You don't want it to get it uh, dirty or damaged before the ceremony. Aiden has allowed you to take it this early, only for you to go for the comfortable wearing it. No one wants noticing tipping over uh, novitiates tipping over uh, during one of their most apex hours. Totally not. She chuckles. Therefore, mind the echo pack. It's heavy and don't fiddle with uh, it too much. Echo pack. Ah, the device on the back it houses and let me quote the manual an ecosystem of thermosynthetic microorganism living of the water. The wearer captures heat. The microorganisms are capable of producing breathable air enriched with compounds beneficial to the wearer's general health and uh, combat performance. I think uh, I got that right. Interesting. What else can you tell me about the armor? Well, it's a new series of armored robes designed uh, jointly by uh, both preservation and investigation experts. The echo pack and the added hazardous protection make it suitable for extreme environments. A few of you lucky ones will get to show it off during the ceremony, but whether you keep uh, to keep it uh, afterwards, that ain't... I ain't got a clue. So keep it uh, nice and clean, Eros. I understand. Now, I better go off and change. She waves it at you. Torch guide you. Adios. So we are a bit heavy. Let's see how heavy it is. Uh, uh, 14. But it has a lot of armor penalty. This one as well. We're gonna get out. And I'm gonna just leave them somewhere close by outside of the building because well he might not be able to enter back inside later on just a precaution you know nothing too crazy although maybe I can go and check if the dude has any I still have four minutes if you uh, reset it so I can get up Eat more. Uh, hey, come on, move. Mm, juice. If not, well, sell out. But if I'm going there, then maybe I can just drop them into the. Yeah, let's just go there. Drop them into Core City entrance and then go see the dude. 
because I think we have the uh, time necessary. Vamos, vamos, vamos a bailar. <sighs> Come on, you fat wolf. Shake that tail. Show me what you got. Goody, goody, good. So city entrance, bam. We're gonna leave both uh, armors. I'm not even gonna bother. Sure, this armor especially is very useful. But we're not gonna bother, as I said. Dude, my dude, have you reset it? Oh, you have. So let's go back to, 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 to the university. Don't worry, we won't need the armor. I think. So we need to go and investigate the tremors. I've been trying to get my head around what is the device in the west wing where we met six and for the life of me I have no clue there, there is literally no mm, information well I mean no meaningful information that can help us we have to look for institute right investigate yeah Let's do a hardcore save. Jeez, that was so difficult. I, I had to <sighs> release those guys three times in a row because of... Uh, never mind, never mind. Let's forget about it. But still, I'm super happy that we managed to do that side quest. I hope there's no more of them here. No more critters, I mean. So, we will go to... This place first. I'm really curious. How's our weight? <laughs> Very close to critical. Okay, nothing. We can't do anything. So, again, judging by its... Positioning, this could be some sort of console, but you have no idea what it would uh, function since it has no obvious display or controls. Not even the Oculus have this kind of design for the panel or console. I don't know, it's quite unique, it's different. Might be actually a spaceship or a buried spaceship. That's a speculation of mine. Might not be. Let's go check it here. Interestingly enough, if we go here, <laughs> he will kind of, he's gonna send us back to see what's going on, which I don't really understand, but whatever. As soon as you present, uh, your presence becomes known to the two faceless guards, they raise their weapons in unison, ready to use them, but suddenly they freeze. The hallway becomes noiseless, even when uh, the two guards lower their weapons, you hear no talking, nor notice any visible signals between them. Several seconds pass before one of them turns around, wait and see what happens. I don't know why it needed to, to, to go to the black skin, but whatever. Perhaps there are specific scenes. The nearing of yet another arm faceless invokes a strange feeling of familiarity. Uh, and only when he finally stops right in front of you do you remember. He is the injured faceless you rescued back in Core City. Indeed, you recognize his damaged mask, which each passing second you seem to recall every little dent and scratch on it. 
um, as the puzzle solves itself in your head and completes that uh, very image. You notice how every red uh, wound has now been replaced with a pale scar and how the bleeding cylinder on his arm um, has now been straightened out uh, and is now in line with the other one, other two, sorry. Other than the fact that he is in a much healthier condition than he used to be back then, there is yet another major difference between his encounter um, and the one from the core city. One you notice as soon as he reaches underneath the mask makes a subtle twisting motion and begins talking to you with a synthesized voice. Greetings. I, uh, if you value your life, you will leave the Institute of Torch at once while there is still time. Wait, wait, wait. What is going on here? What are you doing here? There is a brief pause uh, as the faceless, as the three faces starts stand in silence, motionless, uh, staring at you. The pause feels longer than it actually is, but ends once uh, you are spoken to again. The invasion is imminent. The Institute of Torch will soon be overrun, and everyone inside eliminated. You helped me in Core City. I still live because of you. And for this sole reason, you will receive this warning. Now leave. Uh, should you linger on uh, when the investigation be invasion begins, you will be treated no different than the torches. That is my message. I'm glad you have survived. Thank you for the warning. Farewell. He nods and then reaches underneath his mask to end the conversation after which afterward he finally walks away. Okay. I don't think we can go over here. Ah, just came to us and said He did say, hey, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid and we were just that. But if we try to go invisible. I'm just curious if we can sneak by and see what's here. Oh, this is a very long tunnel. Collapsed rocks. You notice, you notice glimmering light finding its way through the pile of collapsed rocks. Maybe you can take a peek through one of the openings and see what lies on the other side. Take a peek. Oh ho 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 ho! Look at this beautiful invasion. These guys are ready to rock. Maybe I should just run away. Just an idea. Run, 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 run. Okay, let's go. Uh, I'm not sure if we have another meeting, but I'd rather just test it out. With six, I mean. No. Uh, perhaps I remember it wrong, but whatever. It is what it is. Now. But then again, it was kind of unavoidable because to speak with Six because we wanted to see the hole in order to save the uh, rejects. You guys have anything to say? No. Let's go talk to awesome Aiden. How did I go up there?
Okay, so. We're gonna tell a little white lie to Aiden for various aspects and reasons. Aiden, I have important news. I have been to the West Wing and found the Faceless Tunneler uh, carrying full armed troops. He answers without delay. That is the cause of these tremors. Faceless. Speak quickly, Eros. Uh, what other information do you have to offer me? Well, I killed the whole Tunneler crew. Most excellent, Eros. The corrupted Faceless should never be sympathized with, but cooled whenever the opportunity arises. However, were you able to see other, uh, to see or hear anything regarding the motives behind the entire arrival? Um, there was a hole in the wall made by the tunneler. I took a peek and saw a large number of faceless arming and uh, readying for combat. He makes no motion or sound in acknowledgement of what you just told him. At least not right away. His uh, response comes after his, uh, this uncanny pause. That is dire news, Eros. What you have just told me doesn't just mean danger to torchists, but to torch as well. What happens now? Now we must take the appropriate counteractions. Torch needs to be preserved uh, at all costs. First, we must mobilize all the preservation forces we have available. Then we have to alert Hamos Stavros uh, and his uh, Rasophores in the deep caverns, since communication with both uh, cytosine outposts as well as the nucleus has been made difficult after the earthquake. Someone will have to make a descent. It would be wise if uh, I was the one to make the descent to deep caverns and personally make sure that the torch remains safe. Median Samuel will be left in charge of the Institute's defense. Uh, how will you go to the deep caverns? This building possesses an elevator beneath its offices. Uh, it, is very, it is the only access point to the deep caverns available. Not the only one, but there are three more, two more options, I think, or three. The elevator uh, at the back of my office will uh, take us to the chamber below. The elevator to the deep cavern lies here, there. Um, few are allowed access to it, yet due to the situation you found yourself in, you will be among the select few. Follow me, Eros, for uh, there is, there are few more words I must exchange with you before I leave. I am ready to go. Illustrious Aiden, I am ready to stand by your side. Most excellent. I will meet you by the chamber below. Do not take long. Wait for Aiden, Aidos to leave. Aiden, Aiden Aidos, Aidan. We could technically do something silly. Let's check in here. Eh, I'll take this. We've gotten 3000 experience. I don't think we get any more. Yeah, we are way over. So does this apply to anything? Because I can't race reckless anymore. Oh well. Let's not mess around. Take the elevator downstairs. Oh, we didn't get out of... Uh... Interesting. Now, there are a few ways to deal with this situation. Median Samuel. Not now, brother. 
Both Aiden and Maddy and Samuel acknowledge your presence with a quick nod soon after Aiden turns to the mediator. Medi <laughs> Mediant once more. Those are very. Those are my instructions. I have full confidence that you will perform your duty with utmost commitment. You have been selected uh, a mediant for a good reason, Samuel. You will not let Torch down. Of that, I am certain. Median Samuel proud, uh, proudly places his hand on his crest. Uh, clearly, uh, clenching it firmly. I could, I wouldn't dream, I wouldn't even dream to disappoint you or abandoning Torch. No torches would. You taught us to adapt and overcome. You taught us that Torch will guide us to a better future. No, this is survival of the fittest. And the inbreed that evolved this trophic, faceless art aren't even worthy of licking the ground with the tread on. Aidan puts his hand on Median's shoulder and nods, most excellent Median. Now the time has come for uh, me to summon the elevator. Every passing second brings Torch closer to danger, and that is something we cannot risk. You know what to do. Torch guide you. Torch guide you to I will not fail you, Aidan. Aidan turns his head towards you with a single elegant motion. He stares at you for an instant, not saying a word. You still have no idea what lies behind the sinister mask, and if he doesn't, does descend into the tea caverns, you must never be able to find out. You may never. Uh, you think to yourself, but once again, your thoughts are uh, brought to a halt by this deep, muffled voice. You stare. You started your torches journey by challenging the devoted devolt and successfully besting them. I only hope that your journey doesn't end with the devolt besting you. Soon they will arrive hungry for torches flesh, uh, thirsty for torches blood. Do not let them taste it. Um, if the place I do want to go to the deep caverns with you. His response is immediate. No, you must stay here. Uh, that is my will. It is non-negotiable. I will stay uh, here then. Aiden, torch guide you. We can also attack, but not recommended. Don't mess with the torches either. Uh, they can come in handy later on. Aiden. Aiden, not slowly. Torch guide you, Eros. <laughs> Watch. Aiden, call the elevator. I think we will need to reload because I didn't. No, it's a small mistake here. I didn't save. The faceless, they are here. And. Yeah. It's a horrible idea what I did. Let me just reload really quick. Oh, I did quick save though. Which is good, but I need to do a... Well... Let's... Be the descent... To deep caverns... Let's just go really quick between the lines... And besides, sitting on this position is a little bit better... In the sense that I can go invisible and not take part into the combat. And funny enough, <laughs> Aiden can die here. Well, we'll have to wait a little. The, the combat in the fog happens, I don't know, it's a bit slower for some reason. Uh, and I think if you fight the faceless over here, it doesn't count towards uh, you hurting the faceless. But I'm not gonna attack anyone, there is no need. There are a few of them, that's why it takes so long. But I'm kind of curious. Maybe we can 
stay nearby Aiden and see see the fight Mish Faden falls, perhaps we can even pick up what he has on him. Don't let them go down. What do Fire. High degenerate something something. They are uh, red towards us, but fortunately, <laughs> I think this one attacked this one. Now, the torches, they will be innumerable. I don't know, I think we have to wait like 6 rounds. Poor dog. Oh, somebody has fallen down. But I am more curious in... Oh, this guy is really strong. I'm more curious in getting his uh, stuff. Let's get close to him. Oh, maybe not that close. Yeah, the torches... Uh, well, the torches are fine, finite. So... We will have some unpleasant situations. Oh, look at those guys. shot <laughs> now get out they are in it well Aiden is indeed strong I put this on this get out of my head Faceless are persistent, if anything. I know, I know, it's here. It's here. I'm not in a rush. But I kind of still want to see what's gonna happen with uh, Aiden. I hope they don't throw a grenade. <laughs> that would be painful. One more shot. Oh, you won't have me. You won't have me. <laughs> oh, abomination. Oh, look. That uh, mechanical red hound is not gonna be very useful for us. Hey, Aiden, this is your time. Let's see how strong you are. Oh, come on, stay away from me. With your stupid. Hey, don't, 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 don't corner yourself. I kind of want to get what you have on you. Oh. 
They look creepy. Yeah, this is definitely a bad spot to be. Maybe we should leave Aiden, you know, to his uh, undoubtable. Oh, this one is dazed. As you can see, the doctor is kind of healing everyone. I think I'm gonna just scram. If Aiden would have fallen uh, faster, it would have been better, but I'm just gonna scram. These guys are getting dangerously close to me. Ne 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 No 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 that was a horrible horrible thing. Ne! Bad doggy. I don't even have the shield activated. I just had to be a hero. Well a hero. Or whatever. He's dead. Well, at least he's keeping them away from me, but... Whoa! Aiden isn't going down without a fight. I hope I have to not go down it. <laughs> just, just... I don't know, run! I'm gonna even push with this one. I need to, to reach the control. Hopefully, it will be enough not to get myself shot from this position. Okay. Why? Why? Do, does it bite on me like target track? No, doggy. No, doggy. Why, why are you attacking me? I have the regalia on me as well. Shouldn't you be my friend? My ally? My compatriot, my s brother and sister. I think Aiden is done for. I don't see a chance for him. Oh shoot. Okay, at least I didn't get stuck. There we go. Easy peasy. Slowly. There we go. Adios. Oof. Well, it's okay. Could be worse. Would be way, way worse. Boing. That means only one thing. We can't go any further. The elevator is not responding. And now we can't go up, clearly. So let's use the leather. Luckily the elevator got sabotaged while close to the auxiliary tunnel. Um, there is no telling into what sort of danger it might lead you. You're, uh, you've been descending for quite a while now, and you're sure you're close to the deep caverns. Call through the other side. Although, probably, we should, I don't know, be invisible. We are in unknown territory now. 10 out of 10, crawlers stalkers or whatever we have here hmm. there is an exit but what is on this side Literally nothing. 
Well, at least we're not encumbered, so that's a good thing. Mm, this is blue. Interesting. Still in the same cavern system. Well, better go there cautiously. Yes, yes, I love you to bats. You are the best. As you can see, the medium is starting to change, the environment. Okay, there is no need to rush. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Okay, it'll be all right faster already. <laughs> oh, oh, ooh. Now that is a beautiful change of scenery and of light. Clearly, we are somewhere new. The deep caverns. So we were quite close. You see, the chasms still go down. Interesting. What I recommend is we make a little small base over here. Hello there, Six. <laughs> He's indecised. Should I go in? Should I go out? Don't worry, we'll come after you. He can see you, regardless. Groin guard. It's all fun and games at the end someone loses. A. 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 Let's just type here deep caverns. Well, now, so here is when. Actually, I'm gonna push intelligence a little higher. It's 14, but you only need 12, to be honest. A rumbling voice speaks to you once more. You made it. Good. What's going on here? We must speak, and I have been waiting for you. Well, if uh, we're going to talk, we can start by telling you my name. Uh, by telling me your name, sorry. What do you? What do I call you? Um, Ram Umbra. Why were you waiting for me here, Ram Umbra? We find ourselves in the same events again and again, Oculite. At the Oculus, at the Torch Institute, and here. There are no coincidences. As I connect events, I have witnessed. I wonder if um, how many more of these we passed by each other unaware that we were uh, that the other was nearby. Mm. Now that is an interesting question. Could he have been somewhere in the background and we weren't aware? Hmm. You too want the cube, right? I remember we spoke about uh, it at the Institute. I think I understand some of uh, what you're saying, but I still don't get uh, where this is going. Can you get to the point? I barely accept the uh, escape the Institute and I'm looking for uh, a way out of here. I don't have too much time to interpret your mumbo jumbo. Let's go with the first one. Yes, for a different reason than you. And this is where I start to think that the cube is actually a power source. Uh, what is the deal with the cube? Most of what happened recently seem to somewhat revolve around it. Your questions are sidetracking the conversation. Listen, and I will tell you what you need to know. The artifact, it is in possession of what you known 
as torch. Torch must be destroyed, and the artifact returned to the tunnelers, faceless rather, to them as uh, you wish. They are not your enemies. You share more common goals than you had ever thought. And it is I who needs to to do all of this. Um, all this talk makes me feel like I'm some kind of chosen one. Let's go with that one. Your arrival here is not a coincidence. You will play an important part in Torch, Torch's destruction or even overweight destroy uh, or even outright uh, destroy it on your own. All events which have led to this one here have produced a setting, a frame. A deficient language prevents me uh, from conveying the meaning properly. So basically he's kind of trying to tell us that it's kind of like fate, in which the only outcome is for you and Torch to meet. The only possible way for you to create an exit out of uh, the deep caverns is to destroy Torch. I have contemplated it greatly, considered possibilities you are not remotely aware of, and I uh, inferred no alternative. So, <laughs> yeah, let's continue the conversation because I don't want to jump to a conclusion. If you want Torch dead so badly, why don't you kill him yourself? This is uh, not my event. So this is an important um, phrase right here. Um, I find it difficult to explain, as I have stated, but it is something that must occur. And you are the main participant. Of course, I could be wrong about you and this frame ends up being your grave. This uh, conversation meaningless to you and uh, detrimental to me. So, as I have speculated, this game revolves around time travel. And I feel like he is presenting us in a situation where he comes either from the past or from the future. That is the thing that I have no clue about. But he'll, he can't interfere into this moment. But it, he knows that this is a possibility or it could be even alternative realities depending on what we choose to do here. I think that's what the game is surrounding about. Because if you remember we did say that the original name of uh, the game was Temporal... Uh, ah, what was the other part? Not in equilibrium. Uh, something with V. Ah, it can't. It, it eludes me right now. But it was something related to temporal imbalance. And perhaps he came to this time and place, even with, uh, with Dude, and there was another guy who talks about temporal stuff he says that time does not pass the same way time is all at the same time and all at the same place and we're just going through this frame experiencing them right now so this is what i refer to as a frame it is one of the position in time space that he has chosen because it is very impactful. But depending on what happens in this time frame, the other frames are going to diverge or continue their path along the trajectory that he would like to achieve. Now, of course, this is all kind of speculative on my side, but it is the most logical aspect around uh, what he's talking about. Although I do suspect that he comes from the future. I do have my my reasons. The information you gave me at the Torches Institute, the name of the station you are from, the relevant th that revealed another connection for me to 
consider. And this is the part where it's interesting. Why is SGS important to Six? Well, to to Umbra, I mean. Connect connection to the artifact, to you, to your events and to my events. So your events and my events, two possible timelines. Connections that revealed the one who orchestrated your moves for his benefit alone. Ah. Now that is something we have to remember. The more I uh, ponder these things, the more I am confident that what I am telling you is correct. And now this is the curious part. How does he know about the one that orchestrates my move and that he's from SGS? That is what keeps me guessing. Let me get uh, this straight. You want Torch killed and I am so somehow destined to do it you want the artifact returned to the faceless, but you somehow cannot interfere. Why are you still here then? Hmm. Good question. Now, it's also possible that he is a descendant of the faceless. He does have a lot of uh, similarities to the faceless. But not the current faceless, but the future faceless. It is possible that the future faceless will become the godman. It's just an idea. Who knows? But then there is a little bit of uh, a paradox here. How can you offer a device that will affect the future into the past? Unless, unless, unless there is more to this story than meets the eye. Mm, well, the conspiracy theory goes crazy down. So let's go with the first option. To make certain these things occur. As I said, he wants to, make, to ensure that the path, uh, that faith has to ensure the way he, it goes towards his future, I suppose. My presence here was not related to Torch originally. So what was it? But as I learned of it, of its name, it became more important. Most important. Why? Okay, tell me about Torch and what uh, one would have to do in order to defeat it. It is, entire, uh, it is an entity, an embodiment of something that must not be allowed to prevail. I cannot tell you what that is, for I do not know yet myself. Perhaps I will have these answers ready for uh, some other event. So probably in Underrail 2, because we won't see him after this, I think. I can't actually remember. His arm extends, pointing towards the tunnel. This way leads to Torch Domain. After you step into it, you will be prone to its influence. Your fragile mind will be exposed to violation. Uh, far to the north, you will see an entangled gate. Behind it lies Torch. The details of Torch destruction, I do not know. After it is done again, the artifact must be returned to the Faceless. So I have a sneaking suspicion that he doesn't know what happens in this time frame. But he knows that something must happen. But if he doesn't... The curious part is what happens to his timeline. Does it disappear or does it continue existing? Quite curious. Mm. In my experience, the most logical answer would be that time, uh, if possibilities of futures uh, happen differently, then they diverge and create parallel universes. So, possibly he wants them continuing to be merged into one single thread. Um, I will do as you ask. It serves both me and you, it seems, but I'm going to need a bit more information if I'm going to do it. I don't trust you one bit, but don't see many options here. So far, you've told me on, me only makes things more... Sorry, sorry. So far, what you have told me uh, makes things more confusing. And on top of that, you ask me to accomplish something without even knowing why, and you give me absolutely no reason to trust you. Why should I do that, what you say? 
that's it. I'm done with this uh, nonsense. You can go to hell. I'm going to try and find my way out of here. My way out? Now get lost. Yeah, and he's gonna murder us. <laughs> um, let's go with the first option. I will share such information. What does the artifact do and why does Torch want it? The artifact purpose is complex one. It is a powerful item that should be enough. Why are you being like this? Just tell me what the bloody thing does. The artifact's purpose should not be your concern. You only need to make sure it is written to the faceless. You seem to know the Faceless well. What can you tell me about them? We cooperated and I have visited their home not too far uh, from here. They are not your enemies unless you've uh, mistreated them in the past. Think carefully about your previous actions before engaging them. But whatever your personal disposition towards the Faceless, the artifact must be returned to them. What are they exactly? They are more similar to your kin than you might think, and they are even connected to mine. Aha! Uh -huh. Do not obstruct their uh, workings, their mission is important to us all. Although, I might be wrong here. He might not be part of the Faceless. The Faceless could be a red herring, and I could try to pull the wrong thread here. So the Faceless could be a separate entity, but what he says that they are connected to his species, which is not the human species. So they are clear. He's clearly a godman. Now this is the confirmation, I suppose. He becomes somewhat distant for a moment, but soon continues. Is there anything else you need to know? Um, are there any other people in the deep caverns, besides torches, I mean. I was told that uh, a man was spotted relatively near Hollow Earth multiple times. The Faceless describe him as one with chaotic mind. He is the only one of your kin that could be found here as far as I know. Excluding the torches. Where can I find this man? His exact location is unknown to me. It was unimportant. I do recall that the, he was noticed in the first faceless territory, slight north of their checkpoint at uh, the east exit from Hollow Earth. I know nothing more than that. Hmm. Tell me more about what awaits me once I step through the tunnel. Hollow Earth, your uh, kin built it in ages which come before, but uh, their own foolishness also raised it. That is what uh, I have been told. It is the home of Torch's influence, and it spawn creatures that exist from no other purpose than to defend their master. They are legion attempting to weed them out is futile, for they will come after uh, you again and again. That's true, they're infinite. But despite that, the creatures are not the greatest threat. Torch itself is. Ending its existence is where you, your focus should lie. It will be your worst enemy. Once, one you will uh, not likely see until the event in which it is destroyed comes to its resolution. At which point, all of these minions should perish as well. Um... Tell me about Torch. I have difficult comprehending Torch. Difficulty. But uh, I may look at uh, it from a different perspective. Go by what I have told you so far. I, uh, at least I risk confusing you by relaying unfinished thoughts. thoughts. So he has his conspiracies, uh, conspiracies of his own. The Faceless might give you a more appropriate answer. Their information too is limited, but their minds, mindset is closer to yours. Hmm. You mentioned an entangled gate behind which I find Torch. What does that mean? Uh, I was only told of it, but uh, it is supposed to act as an entrance to Torch location. 
The gate is a large and sturdy, uh, while its entanglement is made of thick organic matter, most likely produced in the same fashion and as the spawn which guards it. How do I get through it? I do not know. It is unlikely, however, that you will be able to easily remove this entanglement. I made a few observations which uh, might help you. From what I have been told, the spawn rarely ventures uh, far from Torch. I have seen them attack the faceless checkpoints to the east outside their domain, but they would not pursue me past the south exit from uh, this area, the, this tunnel here. Intelligence, there is something about this area that scares them, right? I believe so. He raises his arm just like before, but this time he points to the west. There is a cavern there which contains fungal organisms that are different than others in deep caverns. Perhaps that is the reason the spawn were unwilling to follow me. Hmm. If you find no other way to remove the entanglement, go there. Maybe you will find something of use. Where can I find supplies around here? Speak to the faceless. They'll give me supplies? Possibly. That is not what I mean, however. There is a section of abandoned storage buildings in the territory east of the Hollow Earth. A resourceful person such as yourself should be able to find something usable there. Hmm. Do you know anything about this? Let's show him the et Eternal Torch. He looks at the device intently for a moment. I have seen such instruments. Where have you got? Uh, where have you found this? I, it used to be a, uh, a shard before it transformed into this. In <laughs> a barrel in the lower under it. And how did uh, you come by this shard? Uh, it was chipped off a mon of a monolith at the entrance of the Black Sea. A marine, a mariner at the Black Sea used uh, it to kill one of the giant savage's natives. By throwing it at uh, him, I retrieved it from the savage corpse. Let's go with the first option. Chipped of how? With a mining pick. A man struck it with a mining pick and got stuck into the pyrite. But uh, he did not manage to chip it off. But he did manage, sorry. He remains quiet for a bit. <laughs> the complex. This came from... Uh, this came from... Was... What? This came from was made by my people... For our own purposes. The complex is uh, used to store many things. And retrieving these things is usually not as straightforward as chipping it. Chipping at it. But activating the retrievement item is even harder for someone like you. How did you accomplish that? I drank a special concoction that allowed me to take proper hold of it. I see. I do not know the exact purpose of this particular instrument, but it does resemble a type of torch we use to remove certain uh, otherworldly residue. My kin and I... Uh, are not of this world of yours, and sometimes we have to go beyond its limitations. This occasionally results in things from outer expanses seeping into this place, where they should not be. What, uh, when that happens, we use devices such as this to remove them. So, uh, as I thought, they either travel to parallel universes or to four-dimensional universes, which is far more likely. Uh, and it's crazy, and this is kind of a scrubber <laughs> to eliminate any uh, contamination, I suppose. You should be wary of this phenomenon when consuming any drugs that allow you to see it, or even more beyond the safe limits of this world, the torch alone might not be able to save you in case of a brighter anomaly. Uh, do you want the torch back since it was made by your kind? What do you think I should do with it? Tell him how you killed the savage king 
in the void spirit form. That's gonna be interesting. He listens particularly uh, patiently as you tell him about how you struck the savage king down twice. Whatever it is that you killed the second time was not that it was not the man you killed the first time. Tell him how you killed the void creature with it. He listens patiently as you tell him the story of how you descended into the abyssal station and fought and killed the void creature. These creatures are without count and striking them down individually is of no use. You should uh, have instead focused of removing their source. Oh. I didn't know you could attack the gates. That's interesting. I mean the portals they were coming from. But what about the crystal? Because they were spawning from the crystal. Maybe the crystal could have been destroyed. Huh. Uh, what do you think I should do with it? This is the real question. I think this piece has a purpose, but whatever it's fulfilled uh, through you or not, and whether it will be a benefit to you or not, that I cannot say. Interesting. Hold on to it, but uh, proceed carefully. Uh, do you want the torch back since it was made by your kind? Perhaps it would be for the best if you keep it. You might find, uh, you might need it. Let's talk about something else. Um, tell me about yourself. What are you and where are you from? I am bound to this place only temporarily by my mission. I do not belong here. Again, not from this time and space. I am a creature like uh, you, but I am not of this world of yours. And while you are submerged completely under it, I stand with uh, one foot in it and with uh, the other outside. Again, thinking that he comes from a fourth dimensional uh, universe or something higher, I don't know. Because this means he can only project the physical part in 3D, but his real form is in 4D reality. Are there any other people? Tell me more about the weights. Tell me about torch. You mentioned the entangled supplies. This is all he has to say. Okay, I'm ready to go. Good. It is time for me to leave too. We will see each other after torch has been destroyed. Ah, so we have another conversation. Wait. If you're going to leave, then I better ask you a few more things now, while I still have a chance. Uh, do so. I guess there is nothing else. Very well. Sayonara. So. Let's save, because this is a rather chunky part. So, uh, I think, I think we have a few options here. So this one is the entrance. This one goes to the west. Into the caverns there. But what goes to the east? To the north. He has told us to go through there to reach Torch. But let's check the east. A switch. I have a feeling, and my feeling is that we won't be able to enter. Oh, or maybe we will. But there is no power. Hmm. It is a skelly. Oh, we're already fat. Okay, it doesn't seem there is uh, to, to be any other way in. This one is blocked. So I'm gonna make a temporary base and place some things into that barrel. And 
until we can better explore things and better collect some other important stuff. Mm. Oh, game? Oh no. The game didn't want to cooperate. <laughs> it said, nope, I'm not going back. I don't know what happened. It's very rare that it crashes, but when it, if it does, it does, you know, you can't do anything about it. I got to keep my eye on this freaking Twitch studio so it doesn't freeze the recording or the game. Ah, there we go. Okay, the game is working. Fantastic. So we're gonna put everything in this barrel over here. Come on, fat so wolfy. Come on, come on, come on. Don't be a lazy ass. So, let's leave this. Uh, I'm gonna keep this free on me. Let's... I'm gonna use that later. Uh, let's leave some of the heavier things that we need for crafting. Hmm... For now I'll leave this here, let's leave 8 of this, this one, and what else is heavy on me? We're still quite heavy. Let's leave this one. Mm -hmm. Let's also leave this, oh, oh, quite heavy. Let's see, this one will stay. Uh, stay, 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 stay. Maybe I'll leave five of this home. Hundred and eighty, still heavy. this. What the hell is heavy on me like this? 7, 11, okay maybe this one. 169, still not enough. Um, I want to be under 160. 40, let's say, for example. Um, well, I know this one is heavy. Uh, I don't know. Let's leave two of these. Ah, maybe this and this. Come on, we're getting there, we're getting there. What else can I leave? Well, maybe I'll leave the pills. But that's nothing. Oh. Actually, I should keep the pills with me. I should have taken the yellow... Eh, well, whatever, too late now. Maybe I'll leave this one here for now. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Let's leave some of you, let's leave some of you. 150, we're getting there. If I leave this, it's 135. I would need, okay, let's leave four of these. And I'm happy with this, I'll, I'll keep it like this. Now let's exchange clothes. Let's do one repair really quickly. I know it took a bit of time, but better safe than sorry. We have enough batteries to hold us around. 
Maybe I have too many batteries, I don't need too many. I think. Okay. And now we can go exploring. So to the south we can't go. Um, then in this case let's make... Hmm. Well, let's first try to the east, see how it looks. But I'm gonna equip this. If I remember correctly, this smoke, this spore sack could spore infection you're get oh shoot 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 run 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 hazy health reduced by 2% yeah let's not go here yet let's not go here we are we could explore but it's not gonna be beneficial for us yet so let's go to the north then Now this is where we realize there is something weird, creeping dread. You feel a deep primordial fear, where is it, uh, creeping in the back of your head. All offensive, defensive and psionic skill are reduced by 8% and they will stack. We should be careful, very careful. As you can see there are some faceless here. They have some interesting things here and there. I don't know if we can go inside this. Now these are very high quality and we can sell them. Let's see the skeleton. The thing is, I don't know how many stacks of this have to happen. But at one point we will start seeing very freaky stuff. Can we not go inside here? No. Okay, let's see, can we go inside of this? No. More that faceless. It seems there was a very powerful application over here with torches. Yeah, I'll take this. I'll take only this. Skeleton. Oh, have a wall, but I don't need to destroy it, do I? Oh, I have torch. The I have torches upon you, nearly paralyzing you with fear. All offensive is reduced by forty percent. We're gonna have a big problem with these bastards. Now, a way to reduce it is to stay inside. We have a way to side or something, I can't remember. Oh crap, this is closed. This is gonna become a problem later on if we don't uh, get out of here soon. have no worries uh, we don't have to fight so in our case it's gonna be an easy ride what I can't click on it ah it's a sledgehammer this is a wall we can get some more armor if we really want I'll take this Hmm. I think if we can open a door and we sit inside no it's not resetting hmm. 
gremlin stool might be used for uh, various things oh mutagen reactivant of it too now we will have to fruit for these mutagens i don't remember how many there were but there were quite a few containing holding potent mutagen and i might actually take this as well bonding agent they're scattered all over. Another mutagen with IO. Ooh, quite interesting. A pendulum. A set of four identical metal balls, each suspended by two strings. When uh, you set them in motion, interesting things happen. Interesting. Mutagen something something. So we'll have to carefully search everything I don't need that oh I can't go in there I don't think the uh, well we can break this wall but Why did you lose uh, health? I think we should just scram out of here because uh, if I'm gonna sit here for too long, these guys are gonna become a problem. So all we have to do is just wait it out. And technically, if I go back, they should all be gone now. Now let's do something... Uh, Well, first of all, I'm gonna go put the mutagens in here so I don't mix them. Where are they? Oh, I don't need to. Because, oh, but actually I do, because they have weight on them. So we have found four. Biology 100, a yellow dotted mushroom, looks poisonous. Uh, we might make some poison out of it, after all. But not that crazy about poison in this spot. Um, I'm definitely going to leave you here. Let's leave this as well. Yeah, we'll have to make these uh, trips back and forth, back and forth a few times. Just until we can get uh, a feeling of how things are going. And we're, when we're back, they all disappear clearly. Now let's uh, move really fast. And I think I should also destroy this. So I have a, an easy access to to that spot. Now if they spawn, well, we're gonna be alright. As long as we don't bump into them. But the more we stay, the more numerous they become. Which is gonna become a very big problem. Okie dokie. Well, we have our own suit. I'm gonna take this. Desk and voila. Let's try to go to the east. There are things here, I know, but... Uh, and there are some... What are they called? Some traps that we can collect if we need to. I don't need any of this. We'll investigate sooner or later. The important part is that we kind of keep safe and away. That is another wall here that we can destroy. Snap, this is bad. 
I don't think we can enter in here. Some interesting land vehicles, but we should get into the next zone. Ah, oh, we're back here. Damn it, this isn't good. Hmm. Let's try to stay inside for a moment. Until we can figure out what to do. Hmm. Hmm. We might need to go over here. Which is no easy task. There is another wall we could break. Yeah, I hear you, I hear you. Yeah, these bastards are quite strong. Oh shoot, we have to go all the way around. Hmm. Oh, snaps. Snaps! There is even a robot there. Jeez. Why isn't the robot doing anything? Maybe I'm the only one who can see the monsters. Yes, yes, dear. Take some of this. Dead torches. Again, don't, rem don't forget. Oh, bone handle knife. Yeah, take this one. This one is gonna be very useful for later on. For a tiny mission. I think here we're gonna be safe. I'm not entirely sure. Let's do a save. And let's interact with these bad boys. They don't seem... They don't seem... Um, aggressive. Ah. <sighs> Flawlessly synchronized, aiming between the bots and the faceless uh, effectively accomplishes uh, its intended goal of making you stop right in your tracks. An instant later, one of the faceless soldiers, still firmly holding his weapon in one of his uh, hand, uses the other one to reach underneath the mask. One twist of the wrist activates the synthesized voice. Remain still. Do as you have been told. Time passes by in silence, uh, bearing the occasional echo of a barely audible sound of cracking as it slithers out of the walls around you. Both parties motionlessly eyes each other until uh, the very same faceless who spoke to you, you does so again. You may pass. Take the east exit to uh, take the east exit of this area and follow the road to the warehouse once past it head east and first intersection a walk until you reach the outpost so we go to the east follow the road to the warehouse once past it head to the wait no take the east exit and then east again once past it head east at the first intersection and walk until you reach an outpost there you will be sent to our commander he requested to speak with you uh well on our territory you may not interfere in any way with our matter in yeah with our matters visible weapons but be aware that you will be confronted should you show any signs of hostility now go why are you letting me through ah uh, 
Thank you very much for letting me pass. I will be on my way. Let's not ask too many questions now. He nods and dialogue. Yeah, fighting them is a horrible idea. Now, before we even consider going there, clearly there's a lot of coil spider things here. But we'll visit this part as well at one point. I'm more curious about the west side because, as you can see, there is a switch here. And it shortens our way without trying to go through the infested land. Rusty, deep caverns. Whether it's covered with rust or a thick layer of uh, dried blood, you find the ski on a dead body in passages near the four residential buildings. You have no idea what this key is unlocking. Uh, no worries, we shall find out. I don't need anything else. Actually, I'm curious what does this one did offer? Two extra utility slots. Meh. Whatever. So possibly the key opens one of these doors, but we are not ready for that. Oh, a skelly. Thank you. We can climb, but we're not gonna do that. We can keep going south. Let's read what this is supposed to be. Dr. Robin K. Uh, Frasat. Architect of the first mutagen atom. Ooh. So, east we came from the north, could inspect the buildings, but I'm more curious about the south, to be honest. Let's uh, make sure our weight is okay. Now, as we can see, there are a lot of things scattered around. I'm not sure where this is leading. Oh, my beloved Goliaths, how, how I have missed you, you fat bastards. Maybe we can pass them. I'm really, really curious what is there. Oh, jeez. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Let's not mess around. Oh, come on, get out of that place. That's not for you. Jeez. You silly little bastard. Okay, go, 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 go. Keep going. Damn it. Why do you guys have to be such annoying... What? <sighs> Did I tell you to go inside? Did I? Okay, let's try it now. Oh god. This is annoying as hell. Well, at least they're blind as... Oh, no, 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 no. I spoke too soon. <sighs> I'm just curious, what the hell is there? Stop moving. I mean, I'm not coming. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, so this is an elevator over here. I think this goes to the lower caverns. Let's see if it's functional or something. No power. Oh, <laughs> the crowbar. But still, we can uh, explore a bit here. We're safe-ish. Safe fish as safe fish as we can be, you know. Mm. This wall is over here, though. Borrower warrior. Hmm. We haven't thought one of this so far. They are quite chunky. Ah, damn it. 
I think we'll need to go through them. Which means it is time for some Macarena. I don't know if there are many of them, but the smaller ones are gonna be a problem. Not, not for long. Okay, so let us uh, be sneaky, sneaky, tricky, tricky. We have a lot of spacing over here. I'm gonna sit around here and let's see. I'm gonna change this for this. Actually, let's go with the heavier ones. That is okay. Mm, we could use this, but I think I'm more inclined to have this as backup. Snipe him. You little bastard. Why did you move? Let's disable this. Don't move. Good. Perfect. Come on. Good. The other one. Good. Good, 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 good. Now. Close enough. Let's get rid of you. Let's put you a little bit on fire. Didn't work. Well, kissy kissy. Ah, there are more than one. I should panic now. <laughs> They're not burning. <laughs> Help. Well, at least I did some critical. I think I should run and hide. They're gonna escape soon. Oh crap, they do see me. Mm -hmm. One down. We should have ran outwards. me oh I really really need you to work right now okay not bad shoot and run Oh my god, where did you come from? Uh oh. Shoot. This is gonna be painful. I don't think they do biological. What else could I do here? YOLO! Okay, it's not that bad. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Why are there so many? Uh, 
We definitely need to get out. Mm. No! No! Just okay, at least kill him. Okay, if I manage to get rid of him... We need to run out. Close enough. Oh shoot, not enough. Shh. Oh, yo, yo. No! No way. Okay, this is really bad. Uh... Well, shield, you better help me. If we go through this, this is gonna be even worse because there are uh, borrowed. <laughs> run, run, just run, just run. Uh, okay, good, good. We don't need to run. The power of the poor man. Where? I just go a little bit here. How much do you need me to? Okay. Please work. Damn it. Ah, oh, don't run too far away. Good! Oh my gosh, that was intense. Let's 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 do anything we can to recover because we're in such a powerful uh, powerfully overcoming situation over us that we don't know what to do. Uh, we're doing okay. So we feel this. Let's check their uh, remains. Maybe they have some oddities. There are quite a lot of them. Oh, there we go. They do have an oddity. Uh, Miss Shapen Borrower Mandible could be used as a fork in a pinch. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this not getting anything anymore and we already connected collected everything i suppose that was all of them uh i don't understand why oh okay okay we're not done we're not done mm, i think we can do okay let's see how many only you I'm happy. Oh, I suppose we have to destroy that. Or not. Hmm. This can become... This can be used. This can be sold. Old diploma. Though now faded and torn, it probably once hung proudly in some tor technocrat's office. Yes, yes, we shall take it. What's that? Pistol. We don't have the need for that. Boxy. Uh, oh, I hope I have enough. Uh... Oh, returning back will be a pain. We don't need you anymore. Hmm. 
we need bam 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 maybe we can sell this definitely yes no worries we are perfectly capable of opening that uh, well could be sold I'm more interested in the mutagens if we can find them those will save us a lot of trouble hydraulic fluid canister what do we need this for how heavy is it mm, this is a five liter hydraulic fluid canister it filled with by bimog 60 mineral oil based hydraulic fluid by biocorp um, hydraulics north but it weights 5 kilograms um, 155 should be careful with our weight oh there was another door over here i didn't see it now oh, we can't open it yeah never mind and there is no other way in. sadly sadly did you check here and here this is blocked oh well we tried now let's hope we can get out <laughs> oh, we're gonna cry I think the hydraulic will come in handy for the door not entirely sure but as you can see it's the deep caverns can go even deeper So from my estimation, I think we're around a kilometer or something like that under the ground. Um, based on how I calculated uh, the utility tower. Uh, what's this? Using shrooms. Using shrooms. Filled with bright oozing substance. But I'll take it. Maybe we can make some useful things without of them. Kind of small to be honest. Is there no way to jump? I have a feeling this is a good spot to oh my gosh. To resupply our um, reusables, uh, consumables. Sorry, not reusables. <laughs> now let's take this one. Might turn out we won't need any of it, but oh, beautiful cave hoppers. Where are you, yellow? Why are you shivering? Another? Entertainment leaf, it appears to be a preeminent promotional leaflet for various uh, recreational and entertainment activities. It's mostly illegible. Should we... Okay, I kind of want to attack them. Shut up. That was a very bad idea. Ah, I'm gonna suffer. At least they're normal siphoners. Shut up. Yeah, 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 you attack. But I think I can burn them. Okay, that was good. Let's see. Oh, we discovered something. Yeah, the other one. I actually don't know how to cook the meat. I never learned that. 
I don't think we need any of this, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll take it. And we have two of those, but maybe we'll need more. I'll take it, maybe we can craft it. You bastard, you're gonna take me out of the freaking thing. As always. Oh, I don't think I've... Yeah, siphoner skin containing a marking of a color common in the creatures, but it's shaped of a heart. Oh, hearty. Okay, okay, where should we go? Those siphoners took pity on us, they didn't suck. Um, <laughs> more of these guys. There seems to be something over there. Maybe this skeleton has something. Maybe. Can you move? Ah, uh, we need to get rid of you. Yes, of course. Where's your friend? Why don't you fight each other, huh? What did I ever do to you? Let me burn you a little. Ah, oh, shoot. Don't you just love when you're using, like, a beautiful... Uh, I should have stayed next to him. I forgot. I haven't fought one of these guys in a while. Ah, oh, well. Black arrow, where is it? I need to zoom in a little. There it is. Let's look what this. Whoa ho ho ho! Ma qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est très belle, et très bien. I need to put some. Yeah, interesting. Else here. Although I might have to track back. Well, you know what? We're just gonna go and try to enter this part. And also, we need to repair that. We definitely need to speak to the faceless first. Don't go to the torches. But I wanna see what's in here. Because I can't remember. Well, a big bunch of... What? Ancient Raid Hound. Okay, so I knew there were some interesting things. Let's be friends, my friend. Yeah, they will leave us alone. Actually, I should even get out of the... Can I go through? Please? Okay, nothing in here. Oh, you have such a beautiful housey. Adorable. Oh, two of them. Nice. Maybe they're brothers, who knows? There's a tunnel. Three of them? Yeah, spirit mushroom. What the hell? Tall, thin, often interwined white mushroom, supposedly inhabited by a spiral of the deep. Spirits of the deep. But quite a lot of uh, 125. Interesting. We do have it. 
maybe I should have taken something. This doesn't look good. This definitely does not look good. Cave, uh, cave yards, we could take some. This one was a puppy. What exactly attacked you inside here? Giant grub. I don't think it's them. They don't seem to want to attack. There's another tunnel. Well, I'm just gonna explore, not do anything silly. Huh, many, many tunnels here. Charcoal, key years. What? What is attacking me? Oh lo, 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 lo. <laughs> Now that I did not expect. Okay, that's kind of hurtful for me. Is he alone? Why is he? Jeez Louise, you bite like a little bastard. Corrosive acid. Found a hook stuck uh, to the carapace of a giant worm. Was somehow trying to restrain these things for someone. Interesting. We need two of them to complete it. But them, we really need to be careful with them. I think I'm gonna leave it as it is. So, but how did I stumble? Quite weird. There's a tunnel over there. Oh, I see. Wait, wait, how? Oh, he was right here. Is there a reason for me to be even here? Yeah, that's a problem. We can't see them correctly. Oh, come on. How many bastards are there? Let's just wait. Careful. What? Psst. He was right here. Oh man, that's so annoying. How am I supposed to see him? I don't know. Hmm. saw something okay he's down there up there sorry so what if i go down here oh they're moving quite fast i see again is there a reason for me to be here There's another tunnel. Should have to. Crap, 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 crap. 
Maybe I should have done another hardcore save somewhere. Please don't see me. Mm, I don't see another tunnel from here. What the hell is this place? Yeah, I'll have to in... Oh, I see him. Well... I guess we'll just save here. And we'll continue next time. I really need to research a bit about this cavern. And see if it's worth coming here, because I just came blindly. But perhaps I need to go back towards our base, deposit, blah blah blah, and go look for the faceless. It's important to find them. You guys stay awesome. Catch you in the next episode. Bye 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 bye.